So fast forward to, I'm in my second semester of biomedical engineering and it's spring break time. So I decided to go to Miami and by lucky chance, I run into this artist who wanted to start selling my artwork. And my very first job that I ever got paid for, I was doing portraits. Interestingly enough, because now I'm sculpting faces and they do kind of tie in together. So I got the opportunity to sell my art for more money than I had ever dreamed of selling it in Indiana. So I just decided to stay. I left my scholarships, buy scholarships. I'm on the beach. I'm happy. I'm selling art. And it was absolutely beautiful until my dad got sick and I ended up moving home. And the art market was not exactly the same as it was in Miami. So yeah, there's really no soft way to go into talking about my dad having cancer. And all of the cancer that he had was caused by things that he was consuming. So he had kidney cancer that had he had had for like 10 years. Luckily, the lymph nodes stay in that area so it didn't spread. He had colon cancer in two places. And... We ended up learning so much about different holistic practices that really are best used to live a healthy lifestyle to prevent that kind of stuff from happening. Happening, But with stuff like the Gerson therapy and an alkaline diets and some other, you know, different supplements, they were able to do surgery and just cut the cancer out with no chemo or radiation. It was an absolute miracle. Even the doctors were shocked. And that's what made me want to dive back into holistic medicine again. So it's an absolute miracle. The cancer is gone. My dad's doctor is just amazed that all they had to do was surgery and there was no chemo, no radiation. And I was fired up to get my doctor in something like naturopathic. So I was deciding between Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, which I'd already studied for probably like four or five years under my guru at that time, or naturopathic medicine. And at the time, the only accredited school for that, I believe, was the Everglades University, which is in South Florida. So I'm looking between all of three of these things. And one of my friends says, oh, I'm about to start school too. I'm going to start school for aesthetics. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, what is that? She's like, you know, like facials and waxing and stuff. I'm like, wait, you can do that and you don't have to do hair. I had no idea. Meanwhile, I was buying facials since I was 12. Yeah. And it only takes six to nine months to get your certification. 